I didn't give a toss. It didn't matter, see? This burke on the bench wasn't worth my time. It meant sod all in the end, because you've got to make a choice. When to do something and when to let it go. When it matters and when it don't. Bide your time. That's what prison teaches you, if nothing else. Bide your time and everything becomes clear and you can act accordingly. There's one thing I don't understand. The thing I don't understand is every motherfucking word you're saying. Limey is a 1999 film directed by Steven Sutter. It's focused small-scale neo-noir about an Englishman who comes to LA after getting out of prison to solve his daughter's murder. But in addition to having an intriguing, entertaining story, truly makes this film special is the kind of experimental editing style it displays. Throughout the film, scenes are often spread across different locations, though their dialogue and drama play without pause. This bloke she was bunked up with, Terry, what's it? Terry Valentine. What's he got to say for himself? I don't know. What are he going to say? They had a fight. She drove away. She was upset. This wouldn't be the first instance of Soderbergh's attempt at this editing style. But after Soderbergh found that a more straightforward, linear cut of the limey wasn't working, he and editor Sarah Flack pretty much had to start over. The new vision was to restructure the film as a memory piece. The editing style of the limey as um, dreamlike and impressionistic and really something that evokes the way people remember. Stuff flashes back to you in waves and obviously not necessarily in a linear order. When you're talking to somebody, but you're actually your mind is drifting and you're remembering something else. And I just think and hope that this editing style um, evokes that, evokes that sensation. Luckily, rather than coming across like a Frankenstein's monster of a final product, the Limey is something of an experimental marvel. Often this dreamlike quality plays out like a trance, with ordinarily static dialogue scenes woven into montage and continuity being thrown into a blender but it can just as easily ramp up the pace. It's a rhythmic balance, blending dream sequences, flashbacks, and memory in a concise method. And I think for noir, a genre that's characterized by lengthy, grandiose narratives, the Limey does something really unique by instead pulling inward. Soderbergh's far from done experimenting with style or technical methods, as his work as both a director and cinematographer has spanned a wide amount of genres never fully falling into the camp of a more commercial or art house filmmaker. But while there's certainly more pre-planned polish to, say, the house club scene in Magic Mike XXL, the mosaic editing style of the Limey still stands out on his ever-expanding resume. And learning that it was basically formed out of necessity rather than planned from the start solidifies it as that much more inspiring in my mind. The filmmakers didn't resign to releasing another subpar film. They took drastic effort to repackage it and in that effort to save the film, propelled it into greatness. So, I just hope that more people see it. Extras, oh, excuse me, background artists, right? Hey, hey mom, hey dad, how's it going? Yeah, Hollywood's great. Yeah, still a loser. <laughs>